Hi, we're here at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris, and this is Verlin Lars E85 fast fuel injected 400 cubic inch small block Chevrolet F2 powered. Uh, this is a streetcar tune up that we're doing for them. It has a uh, Dart block, Dart 227, uh, CNC ported cylinder heads. Has, uh, uh, like I said, the fast EFI, uh, Wilson, uh, precision uh, elbow, and a uh, AccuFab throttle body. Um, we have the small tube headers on it uh, right now because it's going to have small tube headers on it in the car. Um, like I said, it has the, the fast XFI 2.0 system on it um, and we do have a, a fast EFI video that we're just getting out for how to tune your fast EFI um, this engine just a real nice street piece and uh, what we'll do is we're going to go out and uh, I'll set the camera on tripod and we'll do a nice dyno test on this now this uh, like I said this is for a street car um, street slash strip car and then later on we'll be uh, uh, we'll turn it up do a camshaft change uh, to make a little more horsepower and uh, they'll be able to uh, uh, do more racing with it so I'm gonna put the camera on tripod outside the dyno cell and we'll go out there and uh, make a dyno pull Now we'll look at the numbers. Go over here. Set the camera down for you guys. And we'll just scroll right back up and we'll go start right up at the beginning here. It's 4500 RPM. We're at, let me get the camera right for you. 4500 RPM, 645 horsepower, 749 foot pounds of torque. 5,000 or 780 and 819 torque. That's at 11 pounds of boost. Uh, 5,500, we're at 930, 881. 6,000. It is 1,046 and 916 foot pounds of torque. 6,500, it's 1177 and 951 foot pounds of torque. And 7,000, we are 1,270 horsepower, 953 foot-pounds of torque. And I uh, actually see right up through here, it's actually making its peak torque uh, right in this uh, 68, 6,900 uh, RPM area. Uh, we'll take a look at this on the graph. Kind of give you an illustration of what that looks like. We'll go through here and uh, get these other pulls off of it. You can see the hor horsepower line right through here. This is torque, and it's just starting to roll over here. Um, it just kind of all has to do with the cam particular camshaft combo we have, and we have a street uh, one of our street designs, real smooth, steady. So it. Um, it's not made to RPM a lot, and we're trying to keep the RPMs down below 7,500 uh, right now. But it's clearly it would technically, if it wasn't running out of head and cylinder uh, camshaft, it would probably make peak horsepower somewhere up in the um, uh, closer to 8,000 RPM area. Uh, but you can see it's just starting to roll over here just a little bit. Um, it's also a little rich with the uh, 
fast, but we're actually running uh, an actual E85 right out of the pump down uh, down the road. So I don't like to lean on them uh, a whole ton without having an actual real uh, race E85, uh, but that is the, the pump fuel. Now we can go down here and look at, this is the uh, data log on the XFI. And to give you the air fuel ratios and what we were at, um, maintained a basic air fuel ratio in between 11.5 and 11.8, right all through that range. Um, leanest it was was about 70, uh, 7,000, 7,100. We were at 11.63, uh, 11.5, 11.63, 7.5, 6.3. Down here, closer to the peak torque area, or I'm sorry, a little below peak torque in the 66,000 RPM area, we're a little leaner, around 12 to 1, but uh, just a real nice, uh, easy, good looking piece. And uh, again, this engine was for Verlin Up Lar. And uh, I'm Steve Morris, and thank you very much.